Mike, the defendants accepted a plea deal, one being sentenced to 37 years in prison, the other to 10 years. The victim's family says they should have been sentenced to death. He took my dad's life for $400. Cynthia Keeler says she wanted Judge Nadine Allen to give the defendants, James Kirby, Mario Lewis, and Chastity Brewer, the maximum sentence, even though the prosecutor had agreed to a plea deal. Our interpretation of the law is that she had some judicial discretion in which she could have potentially imposed additional time. Prosecutors say 73-year-old Carl Engel was severely beaten by Kirby. He had been beaten for an extended period of time with such objects as a can inside of a sock used as like a swinging club, a coffee maker, a five-gallon bucket of driveway sealer. Engel's son says his dad suffered for at least three hours before he died. Prosecutors say Kirby removed the cordless phone battery so Engel couldn't call for help. The assault went down two flights of steps into the kitchen with blood sprayed all over the walls and the ceiling down the staircase and kitchen. Brewer, who served as the lookout during the burglary, cried in court as she apologized to the victim's family. She was sentenced to 10 years for trying to burn evidence before she was caught. I don't know what else to say besides I am sorry. A third accomplice, Mario Lewis, also apologized. However, he became upset when Engel's family asked the judge to give him the maximum sentence. They want to sit there and say certain assaults towards me that they don't even know the real truth to. At least I was the one that actually came to the detectives and told them the whole truth about the whole situation. In the first place, that's what they're not understanding. Yeah. And Lewis was sentenced to 14 years in prison. However, the longest sentence sentence was 37 years, and that went to Kirby. Janelle Walton, WLWT News 5.